Hey, hackers and tech enthusiasts. Today we are diving deep into a skill that can transform your Google searches into a powerful reconnaissance tool. In this video, we were diving deep into how you can turn one of the world's most powerful search engines into a tool for uncovering hidden data. Whether you are a security enthusiast or just curious about the underside of the internet, Google Dorking will show you how to go beyond basic searches and find valuable information that most people overlook. So stick around as we explore the power of advanced search queries. You won't want to miss what's coming next. Before we get started, this video is for educational purposes only. It's important to note that Google Dorking can be a double-edged sword. The techniques you will learn are powerful, but they should only be used responsibly and ethically. The goal here is to educate and raise awareness about how easy it can be for sensitive information to be exposed. Misusing these techniques could violate privacy laws and result in serious legal consequences. Always ensure you have permission to access the data you are searching for. Google dorking, or Google hacking, involves using specialized search queries to uncover sensitive information indexed by Google. While initially created for SEO purposes, Google dorks can reveal critical details like passwords, directories, and misconfigurations. In this video, we were delves into five advanced Google dorks that every penetration tester should have in their toolkit with practical examples to guide you. So grab your browser and let's find out. Step number one, narrow down the target, then exclude unwanted pages. Start by specifying a target domain using the site operator, colon with website address, which limits search results to a specific website. To refine your results further, Exclude common or irrelevant pages like home pages or generic subdomains using the dash operator. By excluding www, you can focus on subdomains that might host development environments, internal documentation, or even misconfigured web apps. This search could reveal subdomains or hidden paths that are often overlooked, leading to interesting attack vectors. Step number two, uncovering vulnerable web pages. Many web applications which are built using with PHP have vulnerable scripts which are exposed with query strings. After specifies website address, using ext with colon PHP and in URL colon with question mark operator. This can help identify these pages, particularly those exposed to SQL injection or LFI attacks. This query filters for .php files containing a query string. The results often include poorly secured pages where parameters are passed directly, making them prime targets for injection attacks. By narrowing the search to website domain, you might uncover specific pages where improper input validation exists, revealing potential vulnerabilities. Step number three, finding publicly data on popular sites. Popular platforms like Pastebin, JS Fiddle, and CodePen are often used for sharing snippets of code and text. However, many users unknowingly post sensitive information publicly, like API keys, internal configurations, or even credentials. To target specific companies, you can include their domain name within the query, searching for references across these platforms. Like we're going to specify as one platform, the site colon with Pastebin website address. After that, type website address for testing like tesla.com, in double quotes. You can specify as multiple scraping sites using pipe with another like this. This query searches for mentions of Tesla across multiple platforms where sensitive data might be accidentally exposed. Step number four, tracking bug reports. Bug bounty platforms like Open Bug Bounty often publish detailed reports of vulnerabilities discovered by researchers. These reports might include steps to reproduce, which can be useful for red team operations. Example like, specify site with colon, add in URL, colon reports, add in text, colon amazon.com. By searching for the target company's name within reports, you can find disclosed vulnerabilities that have not been patched yet. This search reveals vulnerability reports related to Amazon, potentially exposing weaknesses that can be further exploited or researched. Step number five, hunting for file upload points. Using choose file, file upload forms are a common source of vulnerabilities, especially if they allow arbitrary file types or do not properly sanitize inputs. By using the choose file keyword, you can identify these upload fields. For example, specify site like yahoo.com, pipe it with subdomain like yahoomessenger.com around them with brackets, add, choose files in double quotes. This query looks for pages that present a file upload option, usually accompanied by a choose file button or label. Combining this with multiple domains broadens your scope. This search might reveal file upload pages across main sites, 
which could be exploited for RCE or remote code execution if not properly secured. And that wraps up our top five Google dorking tricks. I hope this has opened your eyes to the power of a simple search engine and how much information is at your fingertips. If you know how to look for it, remember, with great power comes great responsibility. So always use these techniques ethically and within legal boundaries. If you found this video helpful or learned something new, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the latest content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.